Right. I'll start by saying hi, hello, and my salute. To my audience, please keep it down to a mute. People at the back, I hope I'm pretty loud, and people over there, can you get in the crowd? Listen, I'm not here to be lying, spitting. I'm gonna tell you the truth, and that's my real mission. And if you don't wanna hear it, it's all right, you're forgiven. See, I used to be seven, and last year I was 11. And I'm hoping that with the increase in age, ears that actually listen surround me as I stand on stage. What I have to say in my mission today about the ridiculous injustices everywhere, about how most folks seem to be aware, about the different avenues to help out there, about how we can start by showing we care, about, about, about God, do I have to shout about, about, about the fact that their cries and tears are so loud and clear that I fear how our hearts appear when we all hear their sincere and severe pain that disappears as we strive for our own lives gain. But all we do is ignore and store all the thoughts in our head. We see people starving out of the street, beat, hopes, defeat, wishes, delete, opportunities, fleet, happiness, a deceit. But why do people have to live in fear? Why do people have to assume that death is near? And are you guys finally starting to hear? Remember, last year I was 11, and I'm not seven. So I hope you understand why we stand here today and bow down to pray. Some people go on their knees and ask God, please may you relieve all the pain in my heart. And we turn to God when everything seems so dark. And he lights a spark, almost a remark. Picture this. A single rose in a run down park. So I'm here to raise awareness for those who care about the injustices everywhere. Can't we share some time and spare a lifeline and let people know that life doesn't have to be a nightmare? Do you guys understand that I don't have to be a religious man to recognize the injustices in the elite's plan? Do you guys understand? Yes? Then why is life still such a mess? Why do people still have to live in stress? It's like when you're playing chess. Your strategy determines if you are the best. And my strategy is to reach out to anyone's hand, at least letting them know that I'm willing to understand. What's yours? Don't let me be this single rose in this run-down park.